Welcome to SWDS Airsoft, and today we're going to be covering day carriers and vests. I really, really apologize if I stutter or I say a lot. I'm not used to doing these types of videos, so I'll try my best. Please leave feedback in the description of how I can overcome that. But anyway, today we're going to be going over vests and day carriers. The two types of guards, of course, day carriers right here. And then you have vests. Vests are a lot cheaper. They can run you about $15 to a $50. They have almost no customization whatsoever. They're good for beginner airsofters or just worry about simple. This one has a pouch on the inside right here. You can unzip the back and you put this one on just by Zipping up the middle, and then you get the clips and you just shut them. Now, the second type, which is the more popular, is the play carrier. These can run you anywhere from $440 to $200. Uh, I got mine uh, from e bike, it's a Condor. I got it for $40. And of course, a play carrier is because you can. In the bottom, there's a little pack. And you insert your plates right there, though. You don't really need them for airsoft. You can put them in there if you want, but I see them as kind of useless, honestly. Unless you don't want to be flimsy like that, but on the front, the type of weave that it uses is a Molly, and I think there's a different kind. I'm gonna massacre this, but I think it's called a uh, buddy system. I'm not. <laughs> Too sure if I just fucking see something from a movie, I have no idea. But um for right here you have the Velcro. Uh it's female I believe on most of them. Also uh, this also up here. These you can put just patches on of an air squat patch right here. But for the bottom, main Molly weave. What you see people most always run is, of course, their pouches. We can also have admin pouches or things for walkie-talkies, stuff like that. Mag pouches, I would focus on the most though, uh, if we're beginning our software course. These are for G3s, but how they go on here is, the back, there are buttons. There can also be Velcro or snaps. And what you wanna do is just run it, under there, like so, and just snap it on, of course, you might have to push it out. So, uh, that's the front of it, I personally run D3 pouches, but of course you see the uh, bungee cord, there are different ones you can do, there are Velcro uh, buttons, and some of them even have little clips like this, the snaps, I'm not sure what you call it. But there's also these types, there's also just normal flat pouches, like these ones. There are hard shells, which are really made out of plastic or polymer. There are also taco and a burrito, so you can just go on eVike, any website like that, or even just to your local airsoft store and look at the pouches they have. <clears throat> now for the side, I personally like having an open side on my play carriers because they just allow, allow for a lot more mobility and these attach with little clamps. Now, if you do have a side, you can just slide and put more pouches on there, have more area for pouches pretty much. Um, if you do have a smaller one like this, what you can do is I run just a knife holster on here, but you can run it a normal holster for your pistols and or dump pouches. Dump pouches are just for your uh, empty mags. When you're done those, you just throw them in the uh, pouch. I'm saying uh, numb again, sorry. That just saves you a lot more time than searching through all your magazines to find what ones are empty and what ones are not. On the back, more Velcro. Uh, you have a carry handle. These are mainly for military events. You might want to get a pretty sturdy one because you're probably going to be a carry across the ground with them. For 
Andrew. Uh, shoot. The back. I personally run a hydration pouch. It's pretty much just a big water bottle. But there are also backpacks and then little pouches for your HPA tanks if you run things like Polar Stars. But for getting the aerosol, I doubt that you're gonna get a Polar Stars when you first guns or HPA system. On the uh, top, yeah, these little rings. These rings can be used for swings or to also run your hydration tubes through, which I do right here. And a hydration pouch just to get more into it. Uh, you see this little thing right there? You just bite down on that and pretty much water will flow through using physics. But anyways, you get a gun, swing, get your gun, and you can also mount it on these hooks right there. You can change the size by just doing that. Uh, it's pretty hard to tell what size you are, honestly. That's why I recommend getting plates and carriers at a store, because at an airsoft store, because you can try them on if one fits for you the best, but but to put this one on, all you have to do is clamp it and then clamp it shut. Just do a little fence, you know, what it looks like. Oh god, that's nice funny me. But yeah, there you are, your best basics. Uh, please provide feedback and like and comment. And if you feel like it, subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'm Jesse from SWDS. Out.